Let's add a magnetic attraction to our collectibles. We are going to have two triggers, an outer trigger which is going to be the magnetic attraction area and an inner trigger which is going to collect the coins. So when a coin touches the outer trigger it's going to move towards the inner trigger. I'm assuming you've already watched my other collectibles tutorial, so that's where we're going to build off of. So when we left off on our player, we had a collector, and each gem has a gem script which inherits from iCollector. We're going to change this hierarchy a little bit. Under our player, we're going to create an empty game object. We're going to call it the collector, and we're simply going to move the collector component to this collector game object. And we're going to add a circle collider 2D, which is going to be a trigger, and you can change the radius. We're going to duplicate this game object and we're going to rename it to a magnet. We're going to increase the radius and we're going to remove the collector script. Then we're going to create two new scripts, a magnet script and an attractable script. In the attractable class, we're going to remove the start method. We're going to add two new variables, a transform target and a move speed. And then in the update method, we're going to add this block of code. We're going to check if the target is set. If it is, we're going to find a direction from our position to the target and we're going to move towards that position with move speed. In the magnet class we're going to remove the start and update functions and we're going to insert this on trigger enter 2D code block. So when an object enters our trigger we're going to access that collision game object and we're going to check if it has the attractable opponent and we're going to store the result in a temporary variable. Then we're going to make sure that the variable is not null and if it isn't we're going to set the target of this attractable game object to be this magnets transform. Back in the editor we're simply going to assign the magnet script to our magnet game object and we're going to assign the attractable to each of our gems. Feel free to adjust the move speed. And that's it, it should work. You can grab the code and my asset pack in the description below for free.